Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again. Let's continue our let's play. Continue from the last episode, you, we are um, in front of the barricades and uh, our mission is to explore the administrative, administrative district. So, let's go! Uh, the first one is here. So this is mission control. We don't have a dispatch system yet, so blades usually choose their own assignments. Everyone comes here and selects from the missions available on the board. And it's not just official blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post here. Businesses, citizens, whoever. Yeah, it's basically how anything gets done in New LA, so the board is constantly updating. Just about every blade will stop by here at some point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of blades around here, blowing off steam or browsing mission control for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. Likewise. And if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. Hey, who's giving this tour anyway? We also have the scout console, if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? Hey. Tell her, Lynn. <laughs> um, okay. This is where you get uh, uh, some of the side missions. I shouldn't. We shouldn't call them uh, side missions. This is the, your collect, collective, mi uh, collective, collectibles missions where you need to find uh, uh, an amount of a certain uh, collectible. Uh, the um, killing, killing missions. Go, go there and kill uh, some number of monsters or a, spe a specific monster. Those kind of things. So, let's go to the scout console. Ta-da! The Blade Scout Console. When the going gets tough, the tough go to the scout console. You know, to get tougher. If you do end up joining us, you'll quickly realize just how important this little kiosk is. A lot of the mission control assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized knowledge or unique skills. This console lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles for just such an occasion. You can't spell blade without team. Sort of. Anyway, awesome, right? So you're ready to join up? Hang on, Lynn. Take it easy, would you? What? I'm just saying you'd have to be some kind of an idiot not to want to join Blade. Or maybe a crazy person. Oh, and here I thought you might be pressuring our guest. Apology accepted. Now, how about a little shopping? And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory Alley. So, here you can um, recruit uh, avatars of other players. You go here, um, you register your, your character and it becomes an avatar that uh, the other players can recruit. I think uh, they will have the level that your character had when you um, uh, when you synchronize. I don't think it adjusts the level. I think it uh, is set. So let's continue. Let's go shopping. And it's right here. So this street's what we call Armory Alley. Blades can requisition equipment from any of the vendors here. I won't lie, most Blade members face danger on a daily basis. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. True enough. And that goes not only for your personal armor and weapons, what we call ground gear, but for scale equipment as well. You can even buy whole scales. Can you imagine owning your own skill? Uh, huh? Oh, right.
right, the torque. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Blade Tower. Okay, let's continue. I don't think we have access uh, uh, to any of this right now. Yes, that's what I thought. We need to join Blade first. Okay... This is new life. It's kinda strange for a city, but... Well, in true is a spaceship, but... The same. Okay, right here. So yeah, Blade Tower. When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade HQ. The higher ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day here. The government leaders too. They're based in the tower. Guys like our new Director General Maurice Rassan, for example. Blades sometimes report to the leadership here after we finish key assignments. You'll want to remember this place. And that about does it for our tour. So, what do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? You can't wait to join Blade, right? Okay, Lynn, seriously, that's enough. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision to join us, or not. Now that you've seen where and how we work, hopefully it made a good impression, but your decision will be just that. Your decision. In any case, let's head back to the barracks. Secretary Nagi will be waiting. Okay, mission ended. Let's continue. Overdrive save. And next we need to go to the barricade. Yes, I'm seeing the the yellow dot on the on the mini map. But we don't have uh, enough mechanical. It's level 4. We only have level 1. Yeah, uh, we, we will. Um, we can increase that level, like you are thinking. Really? But uh, I'll explain this on a little bit after uh, the, uh, the next event. Because, it, there, uh, because it's when it will become uh, relevant in terms of story. Jump. Let's go to the barricades. Honey, we're home. Yes, very amusing. Who wants a fresh cup of tea? Thank you, Ms. B, but I can't stay long. I just wanted to pass along a request from your commanding officer. Commander Vandom? Hmm. Does it have anything to do with our new arrival? Correct. He stopped by while you were out on your tour. He said he'll come back, but that I shouldn't wait to ask you. <laughs> Here we go. I bet I can guess. You probably can. He wants to fast-track our new friend here for blade duty with a training assignment. What in the hell are we waiting for? As he put it. The commander does have a way with words. <laughs> Makes even my pitch sound smooth. I explained about the memory issues, but he didn't see it as a problem. And to be honest, given our current need for blade recruits, I can't say I entirely disagree. Hey, it's not me you need to convince. Blade service is voluntary, remember? Of course. And I would never force or coerce anyone. Well, friend, what do you say? Can we count on you to do your part? Look into Nagi's eyes and not and not firmly. Shrug your shoulders and shake your head. Uh I never chose this option. I really don't even know. Uh, what will come out but I really think that uh, at the end uh, the events will uh, end the same so I accept I knew you'd make the right choice welcome to the organization Elma she can start on your team we'll begin training immediately 
Yes, Mr. Secretary. With pleasure. All right. Welcome to the Cool Kids Club. Now then, let's discuss that training assignment. We've decided to start you out on a probe installation just to get your feet wet. I guess we should back up a bit. Here in New LA, we're using a specialized computer system called FrontierNav to help us deploy a sensor grid across Mira. A network of data probes that allows us to monitor conditions and collect all kinds of information about the planet. Expanding that grid and filling in the blind spots is one of Blade's highest priorities. Here, take a look at this. What you're seeing on screen is a terrain map that includes New LA and the surrounding landmass. As you can see, we've divided the area into a series of hexagonal blocks. We call these blocks segments. Together, they form our grid. We determined this was the most efficient pattern given the limited range of our probes. Based on it, we know exactly where we need the probes to go. Now we just have to install them. The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. The Frontier Nav probes can also detect the general locations of living things in the vicinity which comes in handy if we need to track down a blade or another citizen. Yes, quite handy indeed. So for this first exercise, you'll be heading here, to that white segment. Go there, install the data probe, and then come back home. Got it, east of the city. In that case, we can take the east gate out of the administrative district, right? We should be there in no time. I'll leave the details on the data probe installation procedure to you, Emma. Of course, Mr. Secretary. All right, you two. Shall we? Yeah. Training or not, let's go install the hell out of that probe. Oh, I'm ready, Alma. Don't worry. Chapter 2, The New Frontier oh. Right now, after after this event We, um, we gain an image on uh, our gamepad, let's see Okay, because we can't go uh, buy new equipment I want to um, uh, to change our equipment because uh, Elma only do almost uh, for the majority she do she does uh, melee uh, melee damage and uh, our armor as you can see it give uh, it gives her both to ranged attack but uh, Lin's equipment give uh, give her melee attack, so we will change our equipment. But because we have some problems with um, uh, with the underwear, I don't uh, I don't know if there will be a problem if uh, some other part appears in underwear. But Lin, like I said before, she's thirteen. So, I don't think so. So, let's uh, remove gear. Remove gear. Let's go to Elma. And we'll put uh, Lin's equipment. And now, let's go back to Lin. And we will equip uh, Elma's equipment. At least she has a boasting damage, in this case a ranged attack. Oh, she's so cute. There's the, you stay you, you stay like you are. And Elma your attack uh, your melee attack increases it to 73. It's not much but it's better than anything. Okay. Let's continue. Man, am 
I glad we pulled an assignment to the east of the city this time. It'd be a long walk all the way back over to the west gate. Hold on. Are we even sure the east gate will be open? Last I heard, it was still on lockdown from all the high-level indigen activity. It was, but they just lowered the threat level earlier today. The gates are officially open for business. One of our teams must have gone out there and kicked some furry indigen butt, huh? Uh, so Jess, it was you and Elma. So Jess, it was Irina and Gwyn. The first time I chose, I chose um, this option because uh, I thought, but we kind of fought um, uh, a boss before arriving. But mm, uh, boasting is not very good, so let's speculate. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Irina's team is one of our best. How does she know Irina and Gwyn? We ran into them just before we met up with you. They were on their way out to an assignment. Well, then that settles it. It must have been them, right? Man, forget this amateur hour probe baloney. Those guys are where the action's at. I'll try not to take that personally. But enough talk. We've got our mission to deal with. Let's head out. Roger. That probe isn't going to install itself. Let's get to the east gate, shall we? Let's go through the uh, through through the gate. I'll talk about. Uh, talk about something uh, um, right now. So there's um, some things that the game uh, don't tell you, like usually. But uh, this is about uh, uh, side missions. Some of the of the side missions are self self contained some of them are chains and uh, for example suriella here uh, you need to to speak to to her at least once if not uh, later on you can start uh, a side mission until you speak with her and i don't know if that time we can uh, speak I think so, but she'll move uh, elsewhere. So this, this is the quickest way. We arrive and we speak with her. Oh, have you come to see the town helper? I'm sorry, what? You don't know who the town helper is? It's me, silly. I'm a mediator, but I started uh, dappling on the side. I, te I teach weapon skills, offer equipment tips, deliver lost items, give life advice. Folks just start calling me the town helper. I kind of like it, to be honest. And that's it. And right now, uh, if we go to Affinity Shark. Yeah, there's, a, there's an Affinity Shark here too. Um, character Affinity. I don't know, where is the zoom? That's it. That's she's here. She's now on uh, our affinity shark, and that's what we needed. As you can see, Pierce that we spoke just before entering New LA is here too. I won't speak with all the characters. Uh, maybe some of them can unlock something, some side missions. But uh, the only one I know about is Suriella because uh, that shine uh, that the chain mission missions go uh, to unlock a new area at the end and uh, that's why i know about this one and uh, on the second episode i told you that the the stations on the the world can change the time and um, on the cities you have the benches like this one i uh, if i'm not mistaken they're uh, always red you just come by and you chose the hour and let's uh, go put the, the beginning of the day because for the moment day is better okay oh landmark discovery it's gate oh that 
that's true too. Let me see one thing. I'm ah. Uh, I was looking to the game file. Ah, uh, we can we can still unlock at the fast travel point. Okay. I'll expl uh, I'll show you the game uh, later, more um, with more detail because there's uh, more things to know about the game pad. Who are seeing the world? Yo, baby, we're outside, and there's enemies. Let's kill one or two, only to see if we have lucky and uh, gain uh, some piece of equipment that will be better than what we have. Already dead. I didn't even see how much um, plus points we gain. Because, like I was said to you, I'm playing as Elmo for the moment. Because um, I will, I will be changing classes uh, with Zerd until I get uh, at the kind of beginning of uh, Galactic Knight. So I want to level up uh, his heart, or her heart in this case. Uh, they call, and uh, she will be kind of it for uh, let's say uh, a good amount of time. But uh, after that, uh, when we unlock uh, the skills we want, uh, that will be a uh, one hell of a difference. And I'm fighting too to gain uh, TP. Because we will, we will need some uh, in a few moments. Ah, uh, okay, what's this? Reflect. Reflect? Already? But no, for the moment, sell. Again, big monsters, more difficult to. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's more difficult to kill, and for the moment, we will kill a lot of them later on the game. Because uh, I will, uh, we will need a lot of um, of uh, one item that it drops. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of dead monkeys right there. And what the hell is that? What do you guys think? Let's approach a little with the camera. Dead apes. And the big monster. Okay. Oh! Collectible. Let's go! think that one Sinicula could have killed all these Simeus? Unless... Unless... what? This is bad. What's bad? I don't follow you. That Sinicula. It's a tyrant. Huh? But it... 
Looks just like another Cinecula. Think about it. Your typical Simeus is way higher up on the food chain than your typical Cinecula, right? Usually we'd find one Simeus standing over three or four Cinecula corpses. But here the tables have been turned. And I don't see a single trace of any other indigens in the area. There's only one explanation. That Cinecula is a tyrant. Let me check the Blade Report database. If there's a tyrant this close to the city, someone must have run across it. Bingo. There was a Cinecula tyrant sighted not too long ago. But it was a couple of segments further out. It could have followed the Blade that spotted it back towards ULA, or come here to feed, or who knows what. That's crazy. I can't believe there's a tyrant right on our doorstep, and HQ isn't doing a thing about it. Don't forget why they sent us here in the first place. Frontier Nav's range is still limited. Oh, right. They couldn't track it if there's no local code. They must have lost it when it went off the grid. Suggest killing the tyrant. Ask what a tyrant is. Mm, first, we need information. The tyrant designation is given to creatures that pose a special threat in one way. That doesn't always mean raw strength. Some tyrants will actually register as low rank when you find them out in the field and engage them in combat. But don't let that fool you. If a creature shows up as a tyrant, you can be sure it's got at least one nasty traitor ability to speak of. The system can't account for everything, though, so don't let your guard down, no matter what rank it assigns. Even some of Blade's very best teams have come back with serious injuries after running into a tyrant in the field. If they come back at all. Suggest to three of, of you to handle it. Say you can't just leave it so close to New LA. Let's unite, people! Hmm. Well, alright. I'm game if you are. Count me in, Elma. Let's do this. If we're gonna settle here on this planet, we're gonna have to get used to dealing with tyrants now and then. We can't just keep running forever, you know? Besides, I'd never forgive myself if someone else ended up getting hurt because we just left it here. All right, let's do it. But don't push it, okay? Either of you. If we can take it down, great, but if not, even just luring it away would be a moral victory. As long as we buy enough time to install the probe, we can use Frontier Nav to track it or any other tyrant that comes this close to the city from now on. Just make sure you're ready before we attack. This will be tougher than anything else we've faced. Okay, Lin is about... He was talking for us to level up our arts. Uh, I didn't touch her arts, so let's go see. She has uh, 26 uh, battle points. Let's put the TPR here. Uh, Wild Smash is um, melee, so to the right. Fire Carnival is ranged. And the green one, let's put it here. Flame Cloak. Uh, Grant Thermal Resistance. This one, I think it's topple enemies. Yeah, inflicts topple. Yep. Uh, Fire Carnival. She has uh, both range and damage, so let's upgrade this one. The uh, Wild Smash 2, just in case. And again, Fire Carnival. This one I need the uh, 8.04. But she won't. She don't have a TP for the moment. And uh, I don't think. Uh, uh, she will gain enough TP to activate the art, so... Okay. Uh, Zerz, stay that way. Elma. So, last... La, on the, my little farm, I leave a lot of uh, side slash, shadow strike, and especially uh, stream edge. The next... The, the, uh, primer, I will uh, leave a lot too, because it gives... Um, Critical power and both TP. 
But the next uh, art that I will concentrate on her is Shadow Runner. Because this art, when used uh, outside combat, I'll show you uh, later how, how you can activate uh, an art outside combat. It makes you undetectable by enemies. So that's very good. So let's uh, increase the cooldown, reduce it so it's perfect. Early bird, and for the moment, I think it's fine. Ah, maybe I can, uh, yeah, I can upgrade primer. So, what about to go fight our first tyrant? Are you ready, people? Let's go! for our first big fight. for the second cooldown of my melee arc and they're here first step work primer both damage from the side both damage from the back and to finish it Fought well. You did too. Now let's get down to business and install that data probe. If we stay here for long, there's no telling what other playmates might show up. This beam of light indicates a frontier nav site. It marks the ideal spot to bury the probe. Okay, the probe should be ready for insertion. I'll just boot it up. Thanks, Lynn. The top half of the cylinder contains the probe itself. The bottom half is a laser. It dissolves the soil so the probe can burrow to the proper depth. We tried just planting them on the surface at first, but we kept running into problems with the local wildlife damaging the goods. Burying them is going to save us all a lot of time and headaches in the long run. We all set? Yes, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. Why don't you do the honors? You can launch it right from your comm device. Give it a try. Show internet and launch the probe. Suggest Lynn shall take the cat. Oh, let's go. Installation complete. We are now online with a solid connection to Frontier Nav. Excellent. See, at the end of the day, there's really not much to it. The hardest part was calculating the ideal probe locations. We need them spread out evenly to maximize data collection. Yep, planting probes is easy. And the more we plant, the more likely we are to find missing crew. So anytime you see a probe site, there's no excuse not to plant that sucker. That'll do it for your training. Let's head back to the barracks and report to Secretary Nagi. Okay, we beat our first uh, tyrant. What did we gain? Underdog sword, no. Self. I'll talk about probes uh, after the next event on the story. Elma's advice: Engage in massive foes. This is what I was I was talking about. The size matters in this uh, in this game, not exactly the level. 
Okay, this is a probe site and uh, you can see them uh, from far away. When you approach us, uh, when you are approaching uh, a place where there's a, a probe site, we'll see the that beam uh, goes up, and you can see from uh, at a, a good distance. So, guys, it's good for it's good for now. I'll see you. I'll see you again in the next episode. Stay fine. Zars out.